One's come out. Look at him. It's happening. Oh, that thing came out of that little egg just there. Oh my god. Hello. You're really cute. You're huge. How did you get out of there? Come, hello. Hi, Mr. or Mrs. Look at him. I'm already in love. That's so cool. Okay, it's time to get a proper enclosure for these guys. It's time. Okay guys, don't freak out. I know this is not really a suitable jar to put sticking sex in. I know that they need cross ventilation. I know that they should have like a cup of water, still have a spray of water in there. I am aware of all of this. It's just that we do not have a suitable mantis enclosure. Mantis, sorry, stick insect enclosure in here at the in the house at the moment. So we do have a six enclosure we want to collect, and we were literally discussing this yesterday. Like, oh. I'm, I think we should go and get that stick and set enclosure because they could hatch any day now. And uh, look, one of them is hatched. So we need to collect the stick and set enclosure today or tomorrow. It's definitely going to happen. So this, this is temporary. Don't worry, this isn't permanent. This is temporary and it will do for now. As, as long as there's ventilation, I'm sure he'll be okay. He's a very hardy insects it's um can't remember the latin name at the moment i'm afraid but uh, a new guinea spiny stick insects very hardy lovely species see some around some on the wall come on mate up you go come on come on stop the thumb of the stick there we go well done good evening everyone uh so for the um how ill i look at the moment that is because i am actually ill well i've got a cold it's not covid don't worry i get a christmas cold every single year and it sucks but i always manage to get rid of it by christmas day so We'll see if that happens. Just ignore those Amazon parcels in the background there. And just a little update on the stick insects. We finally managed to get them in a really nice enclosure. So it's obviously not finished. It's not got a nice polish. It kind of needs a bit of a paint as well. But it's a really nice tall enclosure for 11 stick insects. Yes, that's right. I did say 11. Um, unfortunately, one of the eggs um, passed away whilst they're hatching it didn't hatch properly so it never got out the egg so we went from 12 sick insects to 11 now really really sad but we're not going to dwell on that um because we do have currently eight lovely sick insects in there i don't know if you can see any i can't see any um but they're all definitely somewhere on the bramble. So we've got their names up there. We are going for a star theme, a musician theme. Prince, Madonna, Mariah, Elvis, Simon, Garfunkel, Sher, and Bowie in there. I can't tell which genders the sick and sex are at the moment. Oh, hello. Hello, you. <coughs> Meow to you too. <coughs> oh, come to steal the show, have you? <laughs> Yeah, the enclosure definitely needs a polish, but it looks a lot better than it did before. It was so old, it had rubbish inside of it, but it was a really nice structure. That's why we wanted to use it. It was second hand. That's why I needed an improvement. So we replaced the old mesh that was in front of it with new organza mesh. So that's on each of the sides and on the top as well. Oh, there's one. Hello. Oh, there's another one. Hi. Hello, guys. You all right? Yeah, see, I told you they're in there. Could do with a coat of paint or a polish, but so far I am liking the way it is. Christmas is really busy. Work is very busy. So we'll just see in January when we're going to be able to have time to do the finishing touches. But at the moment, I am happy with how it looks. 
and making sure that this is the best enclosure for them. On the inside, if you can see past the organza mesh, we have a couple of little glass dishes in there with very, very, very shallow water so that the stick insects won't drown. Just enough so that the brambles stay as fresh as they can. It's starting to get, starting to die already in there, but we have a bramble bush nearby that we can easily pick from and clean clean the branches that we get and easily put in there. So we never have to pay. We never have to pay for the food for these guys. It's amazing. So we always sort of got a lot of supply of branches readily available. But it's always nice to have some fresh water in there. I've also got a spray bottle to keep their humidity okay. And currently at the bottom there is vermiculite, but we're thinking of putting the sedge peat in here because this is the same stuff we use for the giant African land snails we might as well use it for the stick insects as well. Do two in one. Just woke up, I'm still really, really tired and a bit ill. I just woke up in the morning, I'm trying to check on everybody. And it's happened, it's finally happened, they're all out. Look at them, look at them, that's it. All 11, they're all out. Oh, he's doing the wiggles, how cute is that? <laughs> it's so adorable.